We'll take the lot. <laughs> Hi Flower Friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and we are week three at the nursery and I've been here with my mom and my aunt for a couple of hours and we're just doing some more staining. I'm working on editing a couple of videos while they're staining, but we just rearranged the tables in number two. They finished, I think we're up to eight tables now done. All the ones that were in the back part of greenhouse number two and I thought, maybe we could change the way the tables are arranged in there because I think people would like bang their heads on the frame trying to get in between the tables. So we just made a little bit of a change and I'm loving it. Okay, see this? Oh my gosh. So just moving the tables, obviously the floor needs to be leveled. Moving the tables up against the walls has made so much more space and the aisles are wider. I'm loving it. They're just doing some touch up work on the tables right now, but obviously the stuff in the back is gonna be a little bit more difficult to get to, but I, what I plan on doing, this is gonna be like vegetables in here. So there's gonna be like bedding plants and stuff like that. So it's gonna be easy to get to because I will have duplicates. So whatever I have here, I'll have behind it. So there'll be duplicates of everything. What do you think? You like it, Ma? I think it looks fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Favorite show. Okay, after 75 people said, just get a roller, ladies, we're going to see what she works. likes because she's a brush lady. She's a brush but lady. I got a tiny one. Size got a, a tiny brush. roller. Size of a brush. Okay, so what's working? <laughs> what are you your don't thoughts? I know how bad I didn't want to admit that. Yeah, but is it gonna leave those stripes? I don't know. I gotta. I don't know. Maybe I just put too much paint in there. Jan, look. Maybe I could do the whole damn thing with one forehead. Yeah. So go over it, cause it's leaving a lot of speckly schnike. That's exactly why we didn't use it. Yep. That's yeah. Why. It just it leaves an ugly top. They told me don't even shake the but the can because it'll bubble up. And that's what we don't want is bubbles. But is this going to be quicker doing this, Jean? And then you coming behind with the brush? Well, like, um, depends. Are we going to do our second? Yeah, so what we got to do a second coat. We're going to have to do it with the brush. Let's see. So I'm trying yep. to get that. This is gross. And then see what she went over it with the brush on the second one, or on the first one, and that's better. Yeah, I thought it much better. It's too thick. Yep, I think so too. I know, but it is going faster. Yeah. So we'll one it's just thing. a two-step process now. Yeah. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So this is how the tables were arranged in that room. And basically, it, I mean, it's not a bad arrangement, but because the frame of the greenhouse is so low, you can see there are uh, pool noodles here because people will come over here to get the plants that are on the table and they would smack their heads. It's a couple days later and my mom and my aunt, actually while I was at the farmer's market, were able to do the tables on the other side of this room. And this is where I'm setting up for tomorrow's mum sale. I have got all of the mums at my house that I have to load into this room over here. I'm blocking this off with a table. So I'm gonna be making multiple trips back and forth, bringing the mums from my house, loading them in my car. Brad's gonna make a couple trips and we're gonna bring all of the plants here, not all of them, but you know, the first round of mum sales for the weekend. So any of the mums that are blooming and look good, I'm bringing here this weekend and we are going to have our first official sale here at the nursery. It is Saturday morning. I'm outside the nursery. And while we're having a mom sale, my cousin's putting some siding on the front. It's so exciting to see. It's beautiful.
construction zone. Need to paint the inside of that door too. Not that it'll be open much. The pole needs to be painted as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and show you guys how I've set it up. Um, and I was gonna do it outside, but I changed my mind because moving the mums is so much work. My sister's helping me run register. Wave to the camera! <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, a league of their own. <laughs> She's like way back, waving like crazy. Okay, so we've got one table of mums right here, which this is just, I wanted to have something in the showroom. And then over here, um, some more. But then most of the mums, and it's still, you know, we're still under construction. So I have number one blocked off because that's um, really um, unsafe. And so we have this pathway down here. And this, this is where I have mum sale. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the tables, guys. Look how gorgeous the tables turned out. And this isn't their permanent placement. Obviously, um, there's like a lot of space in the back and I can't have this table be so deep because people wouldn't be able to get to the plans in the corner. But this is how we're doing it today. I absolutely love how the tables turned out. Now, obviously I did not grow these hanging baskets and I didn't grow these enormous 12 inch patio pots, but I did grow all of the nine inch mums that are on top of the table the pink ones are huge hits. People are really excited about the pink ones. They've been asking me and sending me messages about them. It's been really a fun experience growing all these. I was also able to pick up some potted Rebecca from my friends who grew them for me. My favorite, I think, are these coral peachy ones. Um, so I have coral peach, I have reds, I have oranges, I have the purple hanging baskets, the white mums. There are some yellow ones down here. And I also have the pink ones, the Rebecca, the 12 inch patio pots, and these are six inch mums. And these are not showing color yet, but they're all budding up and you can see um, they're, what they're gonna be. This one's gonna be a pink and they all have labels. So if anyone's interested in getting the smaller six inch ones, they will be able to get them today, but they will not be blooming yet, but they should start blooming over the next one to two weeks. So I'm nervous that this is not gonna be enough. So Brad is actually on his way down to get more mums and to keep me restocked and make sure that we have enough for everybody who's interested today. I have hundreds more of these mums at my house, so Brad is gonna be going back and forth replenishing when need be. Okay, so that's my mum story. Let's get this sale started. It's 9.05. As you can see, there's a line of people waiting to get in. I don't know if we can make it through the day. We were pretty busy and while my sister was running register, I was helping out customers. I was not able to get video of the customers coming in and out, but I was able to snag these chats of my cousins. They were here shopping as well. I love you guys. Thank you so much for visiting me at my nursery and for buying an entire truckload of mums. Do you have enough room? We're gonna make it. Okay. Okay. A lot. Oh. <laughs> you guys might remember that there's a huge hole right here. So what I did was I cut open the fabric. I mean, it was a huge divot and I put about a five gallon bucket of soil in there. And now it's nice and walkable. And I don't have to worry about anyone breaking their legs. So right there, there was a hole and it's not a hole anymore. I was mostly spending my time out front watching my cousins, my other cousins finish the front you're a very good assistant. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I was able to put the final piece of siding in the front. Such a really beautiful moment, and it, it brought me to tears seeing the front of it so beautifully done. Thank you so much to my cousin Mike, and my cousin Lucas has been helping, and obviously my there family has been helping as well. Last piece. So the front of one is nearly done, and then we'll move on to the next ones. We had a great first day selling mums. I have restocked everything here. Um, we got some bigger ones from the wholesaler and some of the ones that I grew at the farm, we've restocked. In fact, I should bring some more whites and some more oranges for tomorrow. Those were the biggest sellers and I'm not surprised because I was actually told that 
whites and oranges were the biggest selling moms. So I'm definitely gonna have to get some. In fact, this orange should not be over here. Move this orange over here. Uh, very, very excited. People are loving the Belgium style mums. They are beautiful and they are whimsical. And someone even called them ethereal. I have to agree. But the most exciting part of today was the siding on the front of greenhouse number one. And it looks so beautiful. We do need to finish up the trim. I have some black trim that will be going on the outside of the house. And then we also need to put the, the trim on the door, which we had stuff for that, but we used it to trim in the fan. We didn't um, think about trimming in the fan. And then we decided, well, we'll let's trim in the fan anyway. So we used those trim pieces on the fan and we have to go get some more wood and paint it black and then put the rest of the trim on greenhouse number one, little at a time guys, little at a time. I'm inside greenhouse number two. This one needs the most work. And I, I know it's, it gives the illusion of being a beautiful space and it's a beautiful space, but as you walk in there, it gets lower and lower and lower and I can barely walk in there. Brad has to walk with a sideways with a, his head tilted. And um, this one needs the most work construction wise. So I think we might skip over this one and go right over to number three and finish the face of that. It's going to be a quicker turnaround than to dive into number two. We definitely have some uh, things to consider. Number two is, well, it's a little bit of a bigger project. So we're going to skip over number two, go right to number three and get that one done. And I think it's going to make a huge difference, especially on the front with people driving by. I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a quick drink and then I'm going to head home and I'll be back here tomorrow morning. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. This is what happens when it rains. on the side. Oh, I'm recording Renee, keep interrupting me. I just wanna say this paint outfit I have on when Wait, I hold on, I can't hear you because you're a million miles away and the fan's running, so hold on. When I put this paint outfit on, I don't wash it until I finish the job. Oh just God. letting you know. Oh. <laughs> so I haven't washed it since I started the tables, but I will. So I think maybe in between since the done. cinder blocks though. No, I washed it after cinder blocks, job done. Uh, do we, do you have proof of that? I swear to you. <laughs> I washed it when I some Auntie just gave you the look. Oh, I did. Oh, shit. So I think in this case, if one room finished, I can wash one it. One room finished. This yep. is washable. Yep. All right. Okay. I expect evidence. That's my way of getting a room done. I, I need a picture room. of it coming out of the washer and going to the dryer. Okay, I will. Thank you. Nice job. Great job. Okay, you just come over, bend it over right in front of the camera. Yep. <laughs> I get to use up. <laughs> <laughs>